Hi everyone, 365 Ninja here. Today I'm going to show you just a couple quick pointers on inserting and formatting images in PowerPoint 2013. First, let's look at inserting images into your PowerPoint presentation. So as you can probably imagine, you'll go to your Insert tab, and you have a couple different options for inserting pictures. If you click the Online Pictures button, Microsoft gives you some suggestions for inserting pictures directly from the web. And you can certainly use these options, but I actually prefer to either use this pictures button, this will immediately open a file explorer dialog box, or you can find the picture on the web that you want to use or even on your computer and copy and paste it right into your presentation. So let's say that I'm doing a report on Vincent Van Gogh, I found this painting I want to use and if I right click on it, I can save the picture. Now in this case, I can also view the picture in the browser, which you could do with most images. If you right click on it, select copy picture or just copy depending on your browser, go back to PowerPoint, choose the first paste option, you'll get the picture right on your slide. So now that you have an image there, you have a lot more options to work with here on this format tab. You can give the picture a border, for example, play around with different shapes. But what happens if you're resizing your picture and you accidentally get the aspect ratio off like I just did? Now this is a really common thing that I've seen in PowerPoint presentations and even if you think you get it pretty close to back to the right proportions, most of us can notice when something just looks a little bit off. So what I recommend in this case is to get to know this reset picture button here. So it discards all formatting changes you made to the picture, click the drop down menu, click reset picture and size, and you get back to the original version. And now I can resize it by clicking and dragging the corner and my aspect ratio won't be affected. So just a couple things to keep in mind when you're using pictures in your presentation, which I definitely recommend. And from here on this format tab, you can have even more options of making the images really shine. So I hope these tips help when you're working in PowerPoint 2013. For more tips and tricks like this on Office 365, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.